Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse at a time, back with my Tuesday guest and real estate entrepreneur, Omar. How you doing, sir? Good. What's happening, Michael? How are you? I'm doing well, man. So uh, a couple of things, folks. Remember, one rinse at a time is a YouTube channel that is very different. Not only do we do a daily show uh, that we've now done a thousand days in a row, we bring on millionaires to talk to you. And what we're going to do in episode one today is Omar and I are speaking at a mastermind later in the week. And we just want to tease what we are going to talk about, because again, this event is the Ascend Mastermind, I believe. Uh, so why don't we talk about, Omar, what you've been asked to talk about, and then video two, I will share what I am talking about. Sweet. Well, um, thanks for joining everybody. What's happening? Um, yeah, I'll be, just, I'll be speaking about flipping, about getting into the business, how to start a flip, um, and then at what point... Um, do you start looking at the deals and saying, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to flip that one. I'm going to, you know, wholesale that one. Obviously it all depends on where you're at financially, where you're at with money coming in because those pay payments still have to get paid every month when you start flipping these houses. So we're going to be discussing a lot about from A to A to Z on flipping your first property. Um, and then um, also adding in, you know, um, how to, how to buy the properties um, that you're going to be able to keep, like what kind of financing you're going to be able to, um, uh, you know, get, you know, providing that you're a seasoned investor um, mm -hmm. and understand that, you know what, like a lot of us, we all have the max 10 loans yeah. um, it, underneath our, our belt, regular traditional uh, lending, a paper or regular conventional financing. And then how do you get more loans after that, so I'll be discussing about that as well. And then um, what areas are good to potentially get a rental um, and then take it one step further and letting people know what areas to go do Airbnb, um, which brings great cash flow. Um, it's a lot of work up front, but it'll pay off at the end. Remember, it's the cash flow that comes in, not necessarily the appreciation um, for this model. So. Uh, there's a lot more to it, but uh, it just gives you a little bit of uh, insight. Yeah, I just love the fact that they've asked you to do that, right? You are the entrepreneur. You are that on my channel, right? Of the experts, you are the real estate entrepreneur, which to me means you had your focus, which in this context will be flipping, getting chunk money. But at some point, your job is to start evaluating the stuff that comes in and disposition them differently. Maybe it's a flip. Maybe it's a keep. Maybe it's a keep and long-term, maybe it's to keep an Airbnb, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. So I think bringing you in to talk about that first people are getting, these are going to be newer folks, right? I, I was told, I don't know if this is true, but the average age is going to be right around 30, 31. Uh, they're going to be earlier in the business. So getting them excited about what is possible, talking about some of the profits is awesome. That's what they need to hear, but they really need to hear about the last 10 years where you started to become that entrepreneur and really do some amazing things. So I know that's going to be exciting. Um, you got any kind of last minute thoughts? You're going to kind of, what do you, well, actually, let me ask this. So you're up there, you're doing your thing, you get the applause. What do you hope happen when you go back and sit down? What do you think you left them with? Oh, left them with some inspiration and uh, the ability to understand that your mind can expand, yeah. providing, this is key, Providing you're willing to learn, you know, for a good number of months, years, or whatever the case, because you're always continuously learning, mm -hmm. and being able to to understand that there's earn inside of learn. Oh, so you have to learn yeah. first to be able to earn more, or to be able to earn what you want, mm -hmm. and and it's it's there. It's spelled that way. I mean, it's plain as day. I like. But that. most people just oh you know you know like it just goes over their head, but. One thing I will share with you is, or with everybody that's out there listening, is that you're going to be, you're going to be listening to a lot. You listen to myself, you listen to Michael about what we talk about on a daily basis, but you have to go and execute and implement what you've learned. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care. And this is the thing we always talking about, about this yesterday with Adrian. If we took a quarter, no, no, screw it. 50, yeah, 15% of what we learned from Tony Robbins, as an example. Mm -hmm. We would be multi 10 time millionaires. So think about that for a minute. If you took 
only 5% of what we shared with you. 10% of what we shared with you, you're doing phenomenal. Most mm -hmm. people don't, uh, they won't implement, execute 5 to 10% of what they've learned. They just won't. It's always 2, 3, 4%. But yet those 2 or 3, 4% make a huge difference in what you do on a daily basis. So I want to share that with everyone that's listening, uh, myself included, because, hey, I, I'm, I, I continue to learn. I'm going to be listening to, to Michael and everybody else that's on the panel. And I don't need to take a whole lot. I just got to take a few percentages of everyone and implement that in my business. And you'll see a difference. I'll see a difference, you know, in the next 12 months. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Folks, if you don't know already, one of the things on this channel is we bring other experts. They have their own playlist. If you have not checked out Omar's playlist, <laughs> you're, you're missing out. Every week, fire. We don't miss sessions. The one that we missed, we made up. We do it for you. Do me a favor. Follow Omar on Instagram at Omar Alfaro. And man, I can't wait to, can't wait to uh, present with you at this event. I look forward to speaking at more and more masterminds with you. Thanks, Omar. Let's go. Thank you. Mm -hmm.